you need to look at all the world's top players, you look at them on a practice round, no two of them do the same thing. Because the one thing that we're dealing with here is your subconscious. Hey! <laughs> And that subconscious is driving your movement. Like people who get the hips, it's involuntary. Your golf swing speeds up and it's a reflex. Yeah. yeah. It's so, so, damaging. so golf is not, it's not static, it's not slow, it's not, it's not stationary. Or what I mostly think about is my club position at the back of my yeah. swing. You won't need to think about that in a bit. Brilliant. Go. Look at that, John. Look at that, John. Every you play, your movement just happens. Yeah. Just leave me alone. Leave me in peace. Leave me alone with the pint and the pen and the fine and the one. The rest of the police. Two bags of three. Born to be in the free. Fell a couple of floors. Landed on my feet. Model. Golf swing model. Because no one does it. No one does it. No one does it. No one, does it. No one gets close. No issues with distance. Yeah. Distance almost is a bit of a problem when you hit it wrong, as you would imagine, because it's out there in the same way. No, exactly. Yeah. 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 What this session's really about is connecting you with the game. Pretty much any lesson you've you've had before this, which has been talking about mechanics first, yeah. isn't connecting you with the game. Yeah. It's doing something else. Yeah. Every other sport you play, your movement just happens. Mm. It's just born out of the intention. In golf, we try and intervene. We have this kind of concept that we have to have a golf swing. Learn how to swing a cup before you can play golf. We just need to know what makes the ball do what it does. What makes the ball start where it starts and what puts the curve on the ball. When you develop an affinity for that, then you're starting to control it. And then you'll start to find the tolerances and also we'll start to optimise your movement so it's more efficient, so it's less effort, so you can start to essentially sense more of what's going on. Because the one thing that we're dealing with here is your subconscious. There's actually eight people in the room here, not four. Because there's a subconscious here too. And that subconscious is driving your movement. Like people who get the hips, it's involuntary. Your golf swing speeds up and it's a reflex. Yeah. So golf is not, it's not static, it's not slow, it's not, it's not stationary. It's an explosive reaction. And it's reacting to your intention. I give you any other ball sport and say just throw it over there and you go like that and, yeah. and you might you're well, looking yeah. there yeah. And yeah. every shot is you're not thinking about no. I'm not thinking about where it's, it's going, going. In particular, it's all about try and make this swing try and make contact yeah. so to get away from that would be amazing like you do everything else in life you generally get better if you do more yeah. in golf you can play more and get worse yeah. so it's one of the other things in life we do and we can get seriously worse at this game. Yeah. So there's something something wrong here. It's good for you to watch each other and ask each other because it might be interesting what he interprets as a certain kind of shot yeah. and what you interpret as a yeah. certain kind of shot. Well done. Yeah. Little fade. Yeah. Good. We're discounting strike. It's not not. I mean, it has an influence, but for this, we're just looking at ball flight. Hey. <laughs> what these yeah. shots are for, this is what the test is for, to, to find out what you're comfortable playing, how you see it, how you can adapt, and then where the distortion is. But I'm sure you're about to find that fade. Yeah. Yeah, found it. Hey. <laughs> yeah, now that's going to happen, yeah. and that's where you, yeah, just, Close the face down, yeah. release it, yeah. the draw. Yeah. Now this is where we're going to go in a bit, the sequencing. Looking where you're going and seeing a shape, any shape you want. Not bad. Does it matter? Does it matter about strike or anything like that? Oh. Yeah. Could be a lot of worries. No worries, it's all right. Change your shot shape, don't keep trying to do the same thing. Okay. What's it like? To, what are you trying to play, a fade? Uh, I was actually just trying to play like, yeah, just a, a slight draw, not a fake slight draw. draw. Slight draw, yeah. See if you can play a big draw then. What's it mm -hmm. like to play a big draw? <laughs> and again. And then just so, keep, so, keep mixing so, it all. So I get, I get all the stuff, like, you know, we're going to go into strike and all that yeah. stuff. I mean, yeah, I get everything you're saying. What I, what I still can't get past is the feeling of my swing. For me, what I mostly think about is my cup position at the back of my 
Yeah, it's wing. You won't need to think about that in a bit. Let your belt buckle twist as fast as you can, using the feet. That's it. Brilliant. Now, if you just take your club for me, just grab your club time, just step off in a second. If you step forward there, Joe. Just have a few half swings for me now. Just step this way a little bit so you've got some room to swing. Just in the air. You can move to the side if you want. It's on to find some space. Just do some half swings. Let the club swish through freely. Does that feel a bit different from the, yeah. the lower yeah. body? Yeah. Letting your ankles, your knees and your hips twist your pelvis. So that's a sequence from the ground. Suddenly you create a sequence from the ground. You introduce the ankle, the knees, uh, the hips to move the pelvis, the feet. You introduce loads more joints, loads more segments, which are gonna help create more force and speed, but also enable you to move. The next place we're going to, we might go outside and set. Using the board to rock. So just, that's it, think that's it, perfect. Just using the board, notice you're banging the board first. Now start to twist your hips. So you're banging the board, twisting the hips to get the... Let your hips rotate. That's it, even more rotation, Tom. Let, let that belt buckle rotate back and through. That's it. So now there's momentum there. Can you feel that? Yeah. There's a change of direction that just happens naturally from the ground. So let's just do some nice, easy half swings. And the golf club is the basket of balls. And let your pelvis, let your hips rotate on the way back, Tom, so you're not restricting the rotation on the way back. There we go. You feel how it kind of throws the weight of the club? Yeah. So you're throwing the club back and through, not just through, you throw it back. It's all about creating momentum and transferring momentum through the body to create momentum with this. And then we recognise that momentum because this is like a beacon. This is telling us where it is around our body. But if we're moving this with all this tension, well, really, it's a distorted signal. Just have a couple of shots for me. Feel different? Yeah, yeah. Kind of, I'm finding it difficult to just literally concentrate on that mm. and not the upper body stuff. Yeah. But, um, but certainly, it's a lot better. You're going to rock forward and then rock back to swing back and then rock through to swing through and play it so it'll be. You bump first to the target, tap a forward press to go back and through. Cool. Yeah, well done, Tom. So you push it first because you don't normally shift your pressure as quickly as that. No. Your arms do the work. Yeah. So you can start to feel the, the shot in the waggle. Every movement you make is directly linked to that shot. And then you set it up and then use the board for the, the momentum. Just watch it. Exactly where I wanted to go. <laughs> and that's the closest swing you've made so far. Sequence wise. Yeah. To letting the club go. That, that feels great doing that. Actually. You've never done that. The wrist movement ranges that you're going to yeah. need or planes of motion. Because yeah. in golf, we, we use the wrist like this, we use them like that, and we use them like this. So when you waggle the club this way, you've got all three. You only develop awareness, guys, through movement. If you don't move, I don't, I don't sense anything. Yeah. So as soon as you move that thing, now think about how long you've been playing golf. If you have to continually keep checking your club face and your grip, confirm where you are with the club and the grip, it's like having your first driving lesson every single time you get in your car. You're literally checking yourself. As soon as you pick this thing up, it's like you don't trust yourself. If you've been playing golf for 10, 15, 20 years, you should have got to the point by now where you don't really need to look at your grip on the club head. Essentially, you've been saying you don't trust yourself when you're looking at this. The self-talk's not fantastic because essentially you're looking at this and it's like, yep, yep. And it's like, I need my eyes to check where this is when actually my eyes should be looking that way. And I'm not throwing a dart and looking at my hand how I'm holding the dart. I'm looking there. I'm not looking at my hands when I'm holding the cue. Otherwise, while you're looking at this, you ain't looking at that. So it's taking you away from the intention. And then when you add stance, posture, yeah, position, yeah, yeah, yeah. all the <laughs> suddenly, now, you are disconnecting, you're disengaging from the target, well, in the shot. There's a distance emerging, and before you know it, you're now just hoping that what you're doing is going to work. But 
you're doing something that's not directly connected to your intention. Why was so important? Yeah, why? That's perfect. Oh, with some intent there. Beautiful little draw. So much of it has been over the years has been like keep quiet down here, like turn against almost turn against it, and then yeah, kick and all that. Resist. Sort of stuff. Yeah, resist. Yeah, try and create tension between your upper body and your lower body and all that sort of yeah. stuff. Yeah, it just locks out your yeah. body there. Now you are. Brilliant. Sure. <laughs> Look at that guy. Oh, that man is moaning. <laughs> <laughs> are these allowed on the golf course? Yeah. <laughs> That's the question, isn't it? I'm going to have to make some kind of yeah disguised version. No, what do you do? Wearing wear shoes with screws in them. So you can, like hidden screws inside the shoe. Gosh. <laughs> Brilliant. Sure. What a horse. Look yes. at that. Your friend. <laughs> <laughs> so you know when I said you got good movement? I'm thinking about that. That's what I meant when I said you got good movement. Yeah, 545 alarm wasn't too much of a problem. Where'd you piss with that? Yeah. Shot. They're awesome. Look at the distance. <laughs> it's so nice with that. That. Fluid with your with just everything basically because you're concentrating down on just just moving down from the ground up. You've never given yourself an opportunity to swim the no. If you love the coaching but you're not able to get a lesson and want to experience the transformation for yourself, the closest thing you can do to get a lesson is by a Zen GRF Infinity training system and experience the same things that you're seeing my pupils go through in a lesson and a two hour download of all the exercises that enable my pupils to tap into those forces and find their most natural, efficient golf swing. So much of it's fighting, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah, yeah. You're like fighting against coming out too much and you're reaching or yeah. on your arms or whatever. You constrain yourself and yeah. the tempo that you swing at you constrain yourself with conceptualization of swing mm. that it's just not affording yeah. the, the, the yeah. movement that, you, that that tempo needs to yeah. form. That's what the that's what the board's for. So have a, have, a, have a just a few shots, Joe, and yeah. see how you're. That was brilliant, Tom. That's not a new movement. It's movement that was already there, just to access. Yeah. Yeah. For us, we can leave that club later behind, Joe. Yeah, okay. Because you've been used to. A little bit similar to Tom. Um, wow, strange ball. Yeah. Well, that's that's that one. Notice how much snap there is at the bottom of the swing, and yeah. this is it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was alright. <laughs> okay. So for us, it's, it's a different yeah, place. Yeah. It's a different place for us. Yeah. For Tom, it's more back swing, creating that elastic recoil. So that using that stretch potential to let the body just use its tempo. For us, we've already got the explosiveness and the movement, but it's letting the thing go to recognise where this release pattern takes us. The wrists are now engaged, that's the, the feet are engaged, the whole thing. Awesome, bring it down in front. Yeah, just not used to it, and obviously yeah. you're, you're on it, and you're on this. Yeah. But that's where you need to be at the moment because if you can do it on this when you go back to the ground, yep. it's so much easier. Yep. But you could see his body there and wasn't used to letting his foot go that far because it's going to switch on tension. Yeah, yeah. 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 We don't like this, let's yeah. start. Yeah. We're going to fall. Yeah. But you can let this go. Notice the height of that shot's awesome. Full release there. That's brilliant. Sure. Yeah. What sure. a golf shot, Jay. Yeah. Not different? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So different, isn't it? Yeah. Harmonise your movement with the board. That's fantastic. There's so much more power there. Yeah. But it's such a uh, natural feeling to swing. Like more natural than I've ever felt on a swing before. Slide it up. That's it. And that's perfect. Great shot. And look at that. And what you did there, 
you used the momentum of the board. Yeah. I don't know yeah. if you were aware of that, but board you start you used you used the board. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas the other ones you tried to overpower it and muscle it a little bit. Yeah, 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 Whereas yeah. that you, you went to the ground, yeah. you used the board. Yeah. And that was like it suddenly free flow and the arms were relaxing because you see they're not they don't have to work. No, no. They only, these are only working because they have to, because yeah, something yeah, else yeah. isn't. Yeah. Awesome, that's sure. How's that feel? Like we played this game for so many years. Yeah. Yeah. And being so uncomfortable over the ball, swinging the club, hitting the ball, and then something to hit the ball like that and to feel the swing like that is it's amazing feeling. Golfers understand. Non golfers won't understand, but no, I know what you mean. <laughs> so this is way too slow for your tempo. Okay. So that's more in keeping with maybe Tom's tempo, but what, your swing's more upbeat tempo, so it's kind of using the board a little bit more, use that momentum with a bit more intensity, more okay. speed. Yeah, a bit more speed. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Yeah. And it took the club there into that place where we tapped. Yeah. Now guys, walking but without the ball. Sure. Wow. What finish? In that finish, in the actual finish. Two. Different flight, isn't it? Well done. Yeah. Good job? Yeah. A lot, lot more rotating, managing to get back. A lot more. And that's starting to match the movement with your tempo. So just stay where you are on the mat now, mm -hmm. and essentially you've already took your step, so you're already there in one, you're just doing your two, three, four. So it's a little two, it's a little two to go to three, to go to four. So you're just setting up, getting comfortable with your shot, and use your two, three, four. Perfect. It's a great shot. Brilliant, guys. Shot. Feel different now at the ball? Yeah. We both put the driver away for quite a long time. The last couple of uh, rounds, I decided to just bring it out. Playing so bad, I thought, oh, what the heck, what, what else can go wrong? That's awesome, man. <laughs> but you see that? Like five years since I've been driving back. Yeah. Well, well, I haven't had it out, we're not five years. Great drive. Literally the power of intention, that's how you conduct your life in general. Intention and then you shot. What dog shot. Now notice where that started and where it flew, a little nice drum. Notice where you were swinging, you were swimming mm. there. Right out there, yeah. So you've been previously stood too square, yeah. swinging left by the time you got to the ball, yeah. and also swinging straight. Cool, guys. <laughs> happy? Happy. Very. Enjoyed it. Yeah, very much. Thank you very much. Great to meet you. Yeah, you too. I love the fact you've not seen the channel. Yeah, yeah, I mean, to be honest, I was, what the hell is this next thing? Well, these are getting into what I've been thinking As I said to Joe, how, what's going to go on in here in three hours? <laughs> I said, I've got enough time to go from, from sh to good to sh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's just, yeah, it's, 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 I mean, fully intend to, to take that to the range or practice on it and. It is a transformative process, and when you watch this video back, it's yeah. like watching the film back again and again, you notice all loads of different things. Mm -hmm. it'll, you'll also pick up on, oh, that's why Mark's the same now, because you'll see the things I'm seeing, yeah. and you'll be like, oh, look at the change when Mark said that, or when I was thinking that, or when you two, mm -hmm. when you two were talking to each other, really, really important, because that's powerful, because you guys know each other so well, it's so relatable to each other, and it's kind of, you're really verbalising what you're experiencing to each other, and comfortable doing it, which is yeah. great, so you really, starting to just convey what's happening, where you're experiencing it. So that will look different on video to essentially the words that you're speaking. Because it's like, oh, I feel this, or I feel that, and you're like, oh, that's not happening, but you're feeling that, and it's like, well, it doesn't matter 
too much what's happening, no. it's what you're feeling. Before you were suppressing it and trying to trying to manipulate it. Trying to construct a swing with someone else's idea of a swing. Yeah, that was, that was yeah. way from natural and uh, and horrible fit horrible feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's not freedom at all. I've changed the way I look at golf. I mean, have fun around it. I can't go. Let's be directly yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. try and bring it back from that. Awesome. I'm glad you've enjoyed it. Yeah, pretty, yeah. pretty. Thanks, Gary. Thanks for being along. Yeah, not at all. Yeah, thanks, bro. You're welcome. Awesome. 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 Awesome.